With humble beginnings as a small radio repair shop in a house near the corner of 7th Street and Weldon, Ramsey's Radio Repair grew to become the most successful recording studio in Arizona. Started in the 40s by Clay Ramsey, the business was enlarged several times for a repair shop, record store, barber shop, and a small studio operated by Clay's son Floyd and his wife Mary when he returned from the Army in 1945. In the early 50s, the Ramseys began recording square dance records for their old-timer record label. Eventually, that operation became Audi Recorders in 1957. Sanford Clark's The Fool was the first hit from the tiny studio in 1956. Dwayne Eddy cut the million-selling Rebel Rouser, the twang heard round the world there, in 1958, followed a year later by Skip and Flip's It Was I. More hits would follow, all recorded in that little studio with the great water tank echo. Many local performers recorded for Ramsey's record labels before success, including Al Casey, Wayne Newton, Ted Newman, Waylon Jennings, and many others. Hit records may have brought the fame, but the many commercial sessions were the bread and butter as the business continued to grow and expand. In 1963, a large modern studio was built across the street. The new audio recorders featured state-of-the-art equipment, a main studio large enough to record the Phoenix Symphony, with smaller rooms for mixing, mastering, and tape duplication, which was becoming an important part of the business. As the recording business peaked in the early 70s, Ramsey's began selling Sony professional video equipment and the name was changed to Audio Video Recorders of Arizona. By the time Ramsey sold the business in April of 1991, annual gross sales were almost $7 million. Not too bad for a business that started in a small building on the corner of 7th Street and Weldon.